Now, we've been busy building our outside office attached to the side of our workshop and a variety of different things we've had to do. We use our 3C Max Bonds and one of the jobs was to hold these huge 1.2 ton concrete print walls that we had delivered into position in our office. We applied the adhesive on the floor, then along the side of the wall, lifted the panels into place and bedded them in situ. This was then mechanically fixed at the top into the existing brickwork. And once the first panel was set in position, we applied further max bonds onto our office base where the second panel will sit. We also did this along one side to help secure them together. Then we built some wooden braces to put either side. To... Then we filled the cavities with some naturally grown sustainable insulation. It's dried out stems from rapeseed oil that Ollie Bloggs brought around from his local farm. Now for the SIP panels to hold against this wall, we screwed and plugged one edge. Then we applied the max bond along the edge of a 4B2 timber, glued it into position, a couple of screws in there just to make sure. Then the SIP panels were lifted up into position, slotted in across the base timber and linked together quite quick and easily. The next job is for the roof SIP panels to be installed. However, the top of that is square and we've got to fit these big SIP panel buildings on the top with a fraction of a slope coming all the way down. So I've cut some fair and strips, literally down from 10 millimeters all the way to about 100 millimeters. And what I'm going to do is whack on loads of 3Cs Max Bond. This just basically sticks to the top of that concrete printed wall and just help support the SIP panels, stop the edges of them sagging while it beds onto something. Not that they would sag, it's just giving a little bit of extra belt and braces for it. And I know this Max Bond will really work well holding it to two different materials like the concrete print and obviously a soft pine wood like this. I then lifted these into position gently and just lowered them down onto the top edge of the 3D printed wall, making sure that it was flush on the inside edge. I also did the same, placed one in and lined it up along the back edge. Popped another one in the middle and screwed this to the back wall plate. Then it was ready to lift the SIP panels into position with that 100mm fall that we've created, which will control the rainwater. By adding the SIP panel to the 3D concrete print wall, this adds additional strength to help support the structure. This anchors it all together for the additional stability required. Then the roof is finished off with a product called Liquid Jacket. To see the full office build, subscribe to the Mr and Mrs DIY's YouTube channel. And if you just want to know more about the vast range of products that 3C stock, check out their website.